temperatures and a very active weather pattern uh, making its way into the valley. Check this scene out here as we head into the evening hours. Check out the forecast. It's unsettled to say the least. I'm just going to walk over to the big screen here and point this out because we have a chance tomorrow of seeing temperatures fall and by tomorrow night and into the day uh, on Friday morning, whoop, we got a chance for a few areas of flakes. Now it doesn't look like we'll have a lot of accumulation. Some areas may uh, get a few tenths of an inch, but it moves through fairly quickly and the amount of moisture we get won't be beneficial to the drought either across the area. Now, unsettled weather with systems passing or clipping our area. Another one on the weekend will bring a chance for some light snow or rain to our region as we go through the late part of the weekend. Then early next week by Monday night into Tuesday, this is actually a warm front trying to warm things up, but in the process, we'll kick off a few flakes across the area. It's when the system exits out of the Rocky Mountains when we'll have an increased chance at seeing some more widespread rain. This could be beneficial to our drought conditions here in the valley. Any moisture would be, but more and more of these systems will be releasing out of the Rockies into the central and northern plains over the next few days. And that is why we said it's going to be an unsettled pattern next week. We'll keep you posted on to that right now. We are enjoying a gorgeous setting sun on this 2nd of November. Here's a look at your current conditions out at Hector International right now. We have a temperature that is 66 degrees, 68 out at Moorheads Airport and a south wind, less gusty. That trend will continue, but the wind speeds will be persistent at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Temperatures across the region, everybody in the 60s with the exception of a few 70s, including you near Lake of the Woods, but at 70 degrees, 73 in Mobridge was 80 there today. Look at the temperatures in the 30s, making their way down from Saskatchewan. That's going to take place as we go through the overnight hours. Let's get right to it. Now look at the satellite and radar showing in the cold air and the elevated terrain of uh, Saskatchewan out there. We do have some snow showers for us, just a few passing clouds. The wind becomes less gusty, but it will remain breezy at around 15 miles per hour from the south. And by the time we head to bed tonight, look at this. There's a wind shift taking place in our western counties. This blue line, that's the cold front. It's going to come with a little batch of clouds, but we're not expecting much in the way of precipitation from it yet. Now, by daybreak tomorrow, we'll pause this at 730. The cold front will be through most of our viewing area with the exception of central Minnesota. Temperatures will be on their way down to the 30s north, 40s south, and that's how we start out our day. Temperatures will be steady to falling up north throughout the day and temperatures will have a chance to eke up just a couple of degrees near 50 by the midday hour here in the FM area and point south. But look at these very gusty northwest winds behind the system and behind the front we will have some showers developing. There'll be rain, but it won't take long with temperatures in the 30s to see some of it mix with some snow shower activity Thursday night. Temperatures will be falling for most locations as we go through the afternoon and it's tomorrow evening pausing this at 9 o'clock when we may see a dash of shower activity in the form of flakes make their way through again. Very little accumulation. Take a look at your hometown forecast here and watch temperatures in the morning. First thing 30s north 40 south. Look at Fargo 46 in the morning and by 5 in the afternoon we're cooling already. So falling afternoon temperatures gusty northwest winds and a chance of nighttime showers. What do you see in these clouds? Eight year old Kiara snapped this, says she saw a ghost. Really cool photo there. Thanks for uploading. Okay, falling temperatures, morning showers will be exiting on a cool Friday, but quiet through the weekend until Sunday night. Now don't forget to turn those clocks back Saturday night into Sunday morning. Then next week, there's your unsettled weather with uh, roller coaster temperatures and a chance of rain and or flakes of snow, depending on the timing. Fall back, remember that fall back. All right, thanks. Later on Valley News Live at 6 with Election Day right around the corner, we take you back to a piece of voting history in Minnesota.